thanks for clicking on this video today y'all this is my Sephora spring haul video and I'm so excited to show you some of the things I purchased now this is probably it's probably gonna be the most basic haul uh, ever I've seen some people hauls where they spent $650, $700. I saw one lady who spent $1,500 at the sale. I'm nowhere near that, but I did pick up some things that I've been eyeing for a long time and I just want to share them with you. Um, also, this is my second time recording this video. The first time I recorded it, it was without sound. I could have did a voiceover, but I did not want to do that. So we're going to do it again. All right, so um, the first thing I want to start off with is my face today, what I'm wearing. So um, like I said, spring is one of my favorite times of the year. I love the colors. When I think spring, I think pink and greens and yellows and just cool breezes and sunshine, all of that stuff. Um, so today, this is would be a basic spring look for me it's all about the lip for me <laughs> um but i do want to tell you what i per what what i have on my face and this can serve as sort of a recommendation you can still purchase these products during the sephora sale i think maybe at the time of me posting this video you may have one or two days left um but there's still something for everybody uh so anyway let's just get started i can just ramble on all right, so on my face today, I am wearing the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation that is celebrated, celebrated all over these YouTube streets. Um, I've met people in person who say they wear this foundation and they love it. It is a liquid medium coverage foundation, gives you a natural finish. Uh, it has good skincare properties in it. It has hyaluronic acid. Um, red and blue algae there's some benefits there but anyway this is a great great foundation for the springtime It's very light it gives a coverage that will even out your skin just balance it it's your skin but better literally your skin but better and I think it would be perfect for spring right now dur during the Sephora sale uh, anybody can get it for $20 with 30% off you cannot beat that. <laughs> um, and that's one of the things about the sale. Er, there's tears. And I'll just give you a start at April 1st. April 1st, Rouge members could go in. They had first pick of everything. They get everything and get 20% off. Then April 5th, the VIP members, which is myself, could go in and start purchasing things. And they would get 15% off. And then the Beauty Insiders, um, I'm not sure, I think they started on the 7th. I'm not 100% sure, but I know it was after the VIB. Um, they could go in and purchase and get 10% off of everything. But then everybody else <laughs> could go in and get 30% off of the Sephora Collection products. Now, the Sephora Collection products are Sephora's brand. They have everything from skincare to all things makeup, uh, all things makeup and beauty supplies, anything you need, you can get it from the Sephora collection. So this foundation is $20, as I said, and you would get 30% off. The thing I use today is the Sephora collection translucent setting powder to set my face. I set my entire face, even my under eye with this setting powder. It is a universal translucent setting powder. And if you watch makeup reviews, you've probably seen Andrea Renee. She has celebrated this translucent setting powder on almost every video. Uh, she definitely influenced me to purchase this, even though I was perfectly happy with my uh, MAC translucent setting powder. Um, I was happy with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder but I had to go ahead and give this a try. This I purchased this a, a couple of months ago, actually. And um, as I said, it's a universal setting powder. It has a beige color tint to it, but it's for everybody. 
and it's fifteen dollars it's the sephora collection so it's fifteen dollars with the thirty percent off so the foundation and the powder by itself twenty five dollars and you have a good base um also speaking of base i did use a primer today and one of the primers i used is the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base priming moisturizer i believe that's the name of it and this is a one-stop primer uh, with moisturizing qualities for your face so if you're in a hurry you don't have time to moisturize prime this is a one-stop shop and um, it has hyaluronic acid for hydrating and vitamin c for brightening and evening out the skin it all it's also plumping so it's gonna uh, kind of plump up those um, plump up your skin so you don't have so many fine lines and wrinkles so it's definitely a primer that is for mature skin if you don't pick up anything else definitely pick up um, the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face space priming moisturizer <laughs> uh, I have the mini size but um, they do have a standard and a value size. So the mini size, I think you get like half an ounce. It's $20. The standard size is $64. And um, the value size is $95. So my next item, and this is something, this is a repurchase. I did pick this up. Um, no. Before I do that, let's talk about my concealer. So for my concealer today, I am using the Lancome Tint e Doll all over ultra wear full coverage concealer now this is um this that's a long name so this is a concealer that is very light it's kind of has a liquidy consistency but it is full coverage i use the shade 495 i use that today i just i didn't want to highlight or do anything i do have the shade 460 for when i do want to highlight but today i just wanted to cover up some of my dark circles so I kind of put that on under the eye and um, it's, I'm good to go. I love this concealer, again, because it is full coverage. It does treat dark circles, fine lines and wrinkles. It's hydrating. You definitely want to have some hydration. If you have uh, dry skin under the eye, crepey skin, you definitely want something that's going to hydrate and kind of moisturize and plump and take care of the under eye area and so this uh, Lancome uh, concealer does that for me it is $29 at Sephora so depending on your what tier you belong to that determines your percentage off. off if you're not a part of any of those tiers then there is no percentage off unfortunately all right Going so on to my eyes I did do a repurchase, so I'm not a big eyeshadow person. I don't buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes, and I see some really nice things, some beautiful things I would like to have, but for right now, I'm just keeping it simple. So one of the things I like to use is the Sephora Collection. Uh, I'm trying to think and remember these names, y'all. It is their colorful eyeshadow and eyeliner stick. Is basically a crayon like a crayon eyeshadow crayon um i used the shade number 24 dark matte brown i did pick this up from i did pick this up during the sale uh it is a repurchase the first one i had is just about out so i wanted to re-up and what i like to do with this is just kind of draw it all over my eyelids and then take a blending eyeshadow brush and just blend it out it blends out diffuses so easily Definitely gives um, just a light, smoky kind of look. Um, they do have a lot of different shades. They have three different formulas. They have the matte formulas. They have shimmers. And they also have glitters. So it's definitely something there for your, your uh, preference. Uh, these eyeshadow sticks are $14 with the 30% off. Okay. And uh, but I did look this morning, you guys. And if you're gonna go ahead and buy these during the sale, rush over there after this video because I did see a lot of shades that were sold out. This 
dark matte brown has already sold out but they do have a few more shades still available also on my eyes from sephora is the pat mcgrath dark star mascara and eyeliner i bought this as a duo set a couple of uh, months ago spent about maybe twenty dollars i don't even think it was twenty dollars maybe less than twenty dollars but they don't have it anymore not on the sephora site i don't know if she has this on the brand's website but it was a mini of the dark star eye, uh, mascara and then their um, eyeliner which i love i have been using the maybelline great lash for decades and i really didn't think there could be anything better uh but the pat mcgrath uh, mascara is really nice and i like it it's 24 dollars something like that but anyway you can go over there and take a look so basically everything i have on today is from sephora including this lip so this is a new purchase this is the fashion fair iconic lipstick this is in the shade chocolate raspberry and i wanted a really really bold um, kind of pink fuchsia color for spring and I just had to go back to fashion fair. I already have their Olay orange which is a bright orange. It has a satin finish. This is a um, they're saying it's an iridescent pearl finish which is fine. I typically go for matte lipsticks or I may go for a satin but this is this is really nice. I love the color. Love the color. It's so bright. It's so pretty. It's Hydrate is moisturizing my lips and yeah So definitely look at the fashion fair iconic lipsticks. I believe they are $26 Depending on your the level you're at you're gonna get um, 10 15 or 20 percent off But if you're not a member then of course there are no savings, but it's still worth the purchase All right, So let's move on to other things that I actually purchased. So if you watch my recommended videos You saw where at the end I said I needed a blush and I wanted some blush recommendations um, But when I clicked off that video or finished making that video, I saw where Patrick Starr had uh, created a premiere video announcing that he was dropping blushes and bronzers. Now these blushes and bronzers were gonna drop April 1st, just in time for the Sephora sale. And I was so excited, so excited. And I was like, that's it, that's gonna be my blush purchase because I've always wanted to try something from one size, but I just never had the opportunity. So definitely that was gonna be something I will be purchasing during the Sephora sale. But when I, April 1st, when I got up, I got up at 8 o'clock in the morning, got onto the Sephora website, just, I wanted to see how much the blushes were, but when I clicked on, half the blushes had already sold out. Oh my God, if I have to wait till April 5th, because I still want my discount, I'm going to miss the shades that I want. So out of panic, I went over to the One Size website. They had a sale going on. They had everything in stock. Um, they had a mix match. So if you buy two blushes and one bronzer, you would get 25% off your purchase. So I thought that was pretty good, even though my plan was to only buy one blush and one bronzer. But I could just go forward and get two blushes and one bronzer so I could save the 25%. So this, let me see. Uh, so these are the boxes that they came in. Let's take one out. So the two um, shades that I wanted, I wanted to try the Firestarter and Berry Gay. But they, I got an email the next day after my order saying they had sold out of the Berry Gay and they asked me to pick something else. So I picked the Fat Ass. So I picked Fat Ass. So this is what the container looks like. I am really in love with the containers. They have some weight to them. They're very nice. And then this, this is Fat Ass. This is pink. So you have the cream blush here, a matte blush here, and then a shimmer brush here. Blush, I'm sorry, blush here. And the names of these they have individual names so the name of the cream is twerkalicious 
the matte is rosebud and then the shimmer is bbl <laughs> cute little names i know a lot of people had some issues with the names and it also has a mirror here i don't know if i can show y'all so it has this mirror and the mirror seems to me to have some type of filter because when i'm looking in the mirror my skin looks really soft and pretty so anyway, I like that and I'm going to be doing a dedicated video to these blushes. Uh, they're called cheek clappers, cheek clappers. So I'm going to be doing dedicated videos to this one is Firestarter. That is a beautiful, beautiful orange. You have your cream, your matte, and then the shimmers and their individual names are petty for the cream and i don't know what this qtfq means i don't know what that means for the matte and then the shimmer is pop off we have the bronzer so i only got one bronzer and the bronzer is i got the dark palette and y'all the packaging on this dark palette is so nice look at that it's red red shiny again it has the weight to it just like the cheek clappers it has a mirror and this is what she looks like and again they have individual names the top one i guess that's the shade and these are called the made for shade palette individual names the top one is legendary the middle shade which i guess is a bronzing shade is pretty wreck and then the last, the darkest shade is called Back Row. So I was torn. I didn't know whether I should get the dark or the deep. I think the next one is deep because I like a dark, dark <laughs> blush. Um, I also like something that has a reddish tone, something that's really, 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 really warm. Um, and I tend to go real dark, but I decided to keep it safe and go with the dark and see how this works again dedicated video coming so. and also on those patrick star blushes they must have restocked because the last time i looked which was yesterday all of the shades were in stock <laughs> so i feel like i panicked for nothing um i still could have gotten uh everything i wanted except the very gay but so now they look like they have a lot of things back in stock. Kind of fell down a rabbit hole when it came to blush. So there's another blush I've been looking at for a while. I just couldn't bring myself to, you know, pay the amount for this blush. But I saw Painted by Spencer. Not sure if you guys are familiar with him, but he is a makeup artist. He does have a channel here on YouTube. And he does some of the most phenomenal looks on models. Um, he uses everything from drugstore products on up into luxury. Uh, he is his talents are just amazing so i love watching him just to pick up some new tools or pick up how to use certain products but he used this blush on a model it is a pink blush it was beautiful on her i said oh my god that is so nice and then i saw someone on instagram using it now mind you these ladies were very fair complected i didn't see a lot of persons of color use this blush but i wanted it anyway and i wanted to try it and it came in this little white box <laughs> it is a dior um blush and let's see i'm gonna it is the dior backstage rosy glow blush in the color hot pink Y'all, this is such a pretty color. And I can't wait to use this. It is, it, well, it, it was $39. And they had it, on, they, it is available on the Sephora site, but it's always sold out. It's been sold out for a long time. So this time I had to go over to the Dior brand website to purchase this there was no discounts or anything it was a straight $39 um, I don't know if Sephora's ever gonna uh, restock this blush but it's but so it's pretty and I can't wait to use it I really appreciate 
the packaging. And I see why some people love luxury products. Because when I got this in the mail, I felt really special. I know, it's, it's such a simple... I mean, it's, it's simple. Nothing special, but simple. I don't know. It, it did make me feel good. And then it came with a card. And the card just says, Thank you for your recent purchase. We are glad to count you among our clients and would like to show our appreciation with an exclusive gift. Explore the world of Dior fragrance, makeup, and skincare on Dior.com and receive a special treat with your next purchase using code blah 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 at the checkout. So I do like the fact that they, they want you to come back and order and they're willing to give something free for that. And then, like I said, this little white box is so nice. I'm going to be keeping this and my receipt came in a nice envelope. So yeah, just really, 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 really nice and really, really special. So moving on, I'm going to talk about one last makeup item that I purchased or because Sephora does not sell this brand. But it's, it's an a item by MAC. It is the MAC Stack. Now you've probably heard they came out with a new mascara. And this mascara has so many claims. It's supposed to be endlessly buildable. It's supposed to create volume upon volume. No matter how many, no matter how many layers you put on. Now, at first, I said I wasn't going to purchase this because I just thought it was too expensive. I've been using the Maybelline Great Lash for so long, and you, I just talked about Pat McGrath. So, I'm thinking I, I pretty much have my mascara down, but I saw um, The Fancy Face. I think that's her name. She did a review on this mascara, and it was so funny, um, but she fell in love with the results. Her lashes were beautiful. Um, she already has a good length to her natural lashes and that's me. I don't wear false lashes because I really do like my lashes. They're not extremely long but they're not short either. They're just regular lashes that look really nice when you put a good mascara on. So that's why I went ahead and picked this up. I love the packaging. This is a really, to me, it's just a really nice, creative, sexy um, container. That is what she looks like. Uh -oh. Anyway, um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned for a dedicated video of the customizable from natural to next level lashes. You can keep stacking the weightless formula for limitless volume and length potential, no clumps included. So we're going to see, so I'm definitely going to be uh, doing a video and a review for this because I'm curious how it will work on me. Let's go ahead and get into skincare. And skincare is what really motivated me to take part in this Sephora sale because there are some things I've been wanting to try out. Um, and you know, just, it's always nice when you can get some money off. So one of the first things I picked up from the sale is something that I've been seeing here on YouTube for a long time and everybody loved it. So I was influenced to pick it up. It is the Oat Cleansing Balm from the Inky List. And this is the container. This is a pretty big container for only $10.99. This was $10.99 with, and I did get my 15% discount. So this is uh, an oat cleansing balm to, that helps remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin. Now I have been using the Palmer's, you know, like the Palmer's cocoa butter. They have a face oil that is for removing makeup or any dirt or impurities from the face. I used that to remove my makeup, to co-wash. Um, so I was really happy with that, but I, I'm always open to trying something different. So this oat cleansing balm is formulated for all skin types. Best for, na best for normal or sensitive skin. Helps remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin. 
it has um, so this is a cleansing balm using oat kennel oil a rich natural oat oil which hydrates and moisturizes the skin it's also formulated with col colloidal oatmeal which contains a high level of skin beneficial natural added actives and you can use this morning and night um, it gives instructions on the box but yes yeah, so I picked this up and this is what I'll be using tonight to take this face off. All right, so one of the next things I picked up is the Kiehl's Ultra Strength Hand Salve. Now, I picked this up because um, I have extremely dry hands. You know, during this time, we've been washing our hands a lot. So me constantly washing my hands, my hands get really, really dry. Um, I typically just use some body lotion. I may keep in my purse to kind of keep my hands moisturized, but I wanted something that was specifically for the hands, something I could keep in my purse. Now this is kind of a big container and I don't care. I carry just a small crossbody, but I still wanted to pick this up. It has, um, it says that it has a, a formula that's a glove like creamy moisturizing formula it says it provides a glove like protect protective barrier against um, moisture loss you know it has avocado oil sesame oil eucalyptus oil and a natural wax that's derived from olive oil so it's got a lot going on with it and so far I've been using it so far, I love it. It does take a while to kind of work it into the skin. So if you're just used to putting something on and da 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 da, and you're gone, no, you're gonna have to spend some time. You're gonna have to really massage the skin, massage your fingers, and work it all in. But once it's in, it's in. Um, now it does say reapply after washing your hands. I would say, for me. I don't reapply it after every time after I wash my hands. Maybe after two times. So I'll put this on, whatever, go about my day, wash hands, blah blah blah, go about my day, maybe wash my hands again, and then I'll reapply it. So yeah, loving this. This was $24. So it's kind of pricey for hand lotion, but um, I did get the 15% off. Yeah, finally, you guys, the product that I couldn't wait to get my hands on. It is the Necessaire Body Ritual Sampling Kit or Sample Skincare Sample Kit. I could not wait to get my hands on this. Now I already have the body wash. Lord knows everybody and their mama have been talking about Necessaire. So a couple of weeks ago I did go ahead and pick up the body wash and I have to say it is worth every compliment every five-star review the sound of wood scent if you have really 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 dry skin this and well this is going to really make your skin look polished and moisturized i mean you don't have to use it every day i don't use it every day maybe every other day um because typically with body washes i have to put keep applying lotion throughout the day it's so annoying <laughs> but with i can say with this body wash I only apply my more after that I only apply my moisturizer one time and my skin is really good but I wanted to try some other products and, and I saw that they had this kit here the body ritual that has four of their I guess you could say their best-selling products that you can try for only this is forty dollars mind you the body wash alone is 25 so I think this is a really good deal it comes with we're going to start off the necessary the body exfoliator I have not tried this yet but um, I'm going to be trying that and then of course there is the body wash nice little bottle and then we have the body serum Y'all, I didn't even know there was such a thing as a body serum. Um, I have used that, and I will say I like it. it. It pairs really well with the body wash. 
just to continue that moisture and that hydration. Um, I will definitely purchase the serum again. And then we have the body lotion. So I have used the body lotion as well. And I love it. It has a soft mousse. It's like a mousse. Mousse texture. Um, so once you put the body serum on and then you put the mousse type of lotion on top of it, it's perfection. And you know this is spring, so we're going to be, you know, showing more skin. So that skin that we're showing, we want it to really look nice. We don't want to be out here dry and ashy. So definitely this is a collection to look out for. Um, I went back and I put all of these in my cart, the standard side. They also have a body oil that I want to try, but um, I'm going to have to find at least another $150. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so glad I picked this up, y'all. If you don't pick up anything else, get the necessary body ritual why so many people love it. they have a deodorant too that everybody's been talking about so maybe i'll try that out as well best product for for springtime all right guys so i believe that is it i told you this is going to be one of the most basic hauls ever but these are definitely dedicated products that i wanted to try out for spring primarily this lipstick when it comes to makeup um, I have all my skincare ready to go. So, yeah. So, let me know in the comments, you know, what did you pick up during the Sephora sale? You have any thoughts or comments about the things I picked up? All right, guys, that's it. So, thank you so much for sitting and staying with me. Uh, let me know down below if you have any thoughts on anything that I purchased. I told you this was going to be one of the most basic um, hauls ever. But I'm happy with everything I purchased. These are dedicated items that I wanted to have for the spring season. Um, you know, especially the skincare, we're going to be showing off our skin. So we want everything to look really nice. We don't want to be out here ashy. And yes, yeah, especially this lip, just a bright, bold lip that you can just throw on every day. So yeah, so let me know. Like I said down below, if you have any thoughts, comments, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I give my review on the One Size by Patrick Star Cheek Clappers blushes and then the Made for Shade bronzer. Um, also the MAC Stack um, Mascara from MAC. That's something I'm really excited to um, try out and review. And then I have some other things lined up that I'm going to be bringing to the channel. Um, but you can also follow me on Instagram at artgirlblue32. I've been doing some reels. I'm learning how to do reels. So I've been doing some makeup looks over there. So I'd love for you to come follow me. And I believe that's about it. So again, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.